First up tonight, an FBI memo is warning people of possible armed protests at the state capitol in Hartford, as well as other state capitals all over the country coming up this weekend. The alert outlines the possible threats coming from groups connected to last week's riot in Washington, D.C. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson is live at the state capitol with how Connecticut law enforcement is reacting to the warning. Sharon. Well, Mark and Aaron, there are now barriers surrounding most of the Capitol building out here. Now, this is just a glimpse of how authorities are getting ready for the potential violence this weekend. At this point, they can no longer sit on the sidelines and passively, let's say, monitor social media websites anymore. We've moved beyond that right now. National Security Professor Jeffrey Treastman says local and state officials are now in a critical phase that must be taken seriously. Today, the FBI released a memo warning people about armed protests across the nation with groups calling for the storming of state buildings. The bulletin says the protests are being planned from this weekend through Inauguration Day. So a lot of these individuals are going to be extremely motivated to essentially build on this momentum that they've had now uh, with that reputed success in their eyes, perhaps, uh, at the Capitol buildings. We have to have a clear deterrent or defense mechanism against these individuals. Governor Lamont says the state is working with federal authorities and various sources to identify any potential threats. We'll be ready, but um, I have a high degree of confidence that um, uh, Connecticut's going to stay peaceful. Retired Connecticut State Police Lieutenant Paul Vance says being ready for a potential protest like this one could mean a large show of manpower, aerial support, and specialized equipment. Prepare to practice and to be ready and in place. Okay, and on the day of the inauguration or wherever the, the incidents are alleged to be taking place. We reached out to the FBI. A public affairs specialist tells us in part they're focused on, quote, identifying, investigating, and disrupting individuals that are inciting violence and engaging in criminal activity. They also say, quote, our focus is not on peaceful protesters, but on those threatening their safety and the safety of other citizens with violence and destruction of property. And we expect to learn more information from the Capitol Police this week. And the governor's chief of staff says that he is ready to call in the National Guard at any point for any emergency situation. Live at the Capitol building tonight, Sharon Johnson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.